Hey there, everybody. It's Ryan here, your uh, favorite Android enthusiast here with Android Coliseum. And I just wanted to take some time here to show you the Nexus 4. Now, this is a review I've had a long time coming, and I've been meaning to get to this for quite some time. Uh, but it's just such a great device that I really wanted to play with it and get every little aspect out of it. So I hope this isn't long, and I've my review on the site might be a little bit long, but it's it's well deserving of this device. So let's first show it off. It is, you know, like a standard device. All the specs I'll, I'll leave in the site. Um, but again, it has a nice sexy back, that glass back. So people who have a bit of an OCD like me that keep wanting to keep it clean, you're going to want to get a case. I went and got one of these guys here that's uh, clear so I can still see the Nexus brand and I can still see the glitter. Uh, compare it to um, the Galaxy S3. It's going to want to translate there. You know, it's definitely thicker than the S3. Um, and here's, I make a comment on, on the site that the sizing is definitely feels different. I mean, you can see physically they don't really look much difference, but the screen real estate is from here to here versus here to here. It's a little more, I mean, because you got the buttons down below, um, we end up pushing up. So actually where you tend to have all your work is in here to here versus here to here. So you get more with an S3 less because, and that's just because of the the on-screen buttons. Okay, so go through it. One of the things you might find annoying about it when you first get it is the micro SIM tray, trying to find a, something that plugs right into that little spot because they don't have they don't come with a little adapter pusher. So getting in there and getting in doing that is a little, little tough. Um, other than that, nothing that is going to stand out uh, from the rest of the pack in terms of what you might get. Uh, standard button layout. We have the speaker in the back, which uh, Tom's already alluded to the fact that he's, um, you know, basically said it's a pretty poor quality audio. And I'm going to have to agree with him on that. It's not great. But then again, I'm going to listen to music. I'm going to probably do it uh, via headphones. Okay, so I said it's a little smaller, but you get used to it um, performance-wise. It's definitely not up there with the S3. I think if I, I find the S3 a little faster, a little more responsive. I mean, they might have optimized it specifically some touch with stuff, but I do know if I really lay this thing down, so if I really play with a lot of games and then go back and forth with some web stuff, that it does lag. So it doesn't. Really, it stutters a little bit, and so I end up having to go through and making sure I clear things out to make sure that I've got it right. So um, that's just what I've noticed. The benchmarks are pretty good. Some people who who have said that they haven't had that issue, and their benchmarks about the same as mine. So I don't know. Battery life out of this guy is fantastic. Uh, I can't. You won't really see this here because I just finished charging it up. But roughly average, I'm getting about. Um, you know, a 10% drain for every hour it's been used. Uh, and that includes even if it's just sitting in a pocket or sitting in the office. So uh, average use about 10 hours of battery. The other day I had uh, actually tried to go through it and, and, you know, really use the screen time some more. And I had about almost four hours of screen time uh, in almost 11 hours of use. And I still had 33%. So the battery life is quite good. Um, uh, not a lot more than, say, something else that you may have never used, but definitely uh, better uh, than you're going to expect out of it. Uh, what else do I want to say here? So, yeah, so people might say, oh, you don't like it. There's some there's some down points to it. But the real issue, the reason why you're going to buy a Nexus device is the fact that it's, it's Nexus. You're going to get the updates as soon as they're available. Like, I know that as soon as they're available, I can just go down here, check for system updates, and there isn't any. Oh, well. But I know I'm going to get that. I know I'm going to get, you know, the latest, greatest camera as Google intended with the special features, you know, HDR, awesome feature. I'll make sure HDR is on. You also leave it, you even get HDR on the front cam, which I think is really cool. So now HDR takes a little bit longer for the process, but I, I definitely, I, I won't not take a picture in HDR these days. Um, you're also going to get the cool features like, we can put it back in here, back to front. You know, our Photosphere feature, 
which is really cool. Or, you know, get your standard panoramic. But you also get, you know, the cool stuff like, okay, swipe over. We're going to find a picture here I did. Like those uh, tiny planet things. And the way you do those, we're going to find it where... Okay, so there's a photosphere, right? So that's, again, the newest features from Google being added into their device. Whoops. So when I look at this picture, I can choose the option to down there, put it into a photosphere. And you can rotate it however you want so that it's oriented the way you want, and then use it to clip or whatever. So that's one of the features I mean, you're going to get out of uh, 4.2 and up. Uh, we also have the, the new pull-down menus for the settings. They're not toggles like you would have on CyanogenMod. Uh, they are actual, it brings you to the settings for that. So that's kind of a pain. Um, we also have lock screen widgets, which is, again, a, a feature of 4.2. I'm not exactly sold on, but... So here's the thing. So I can swipe to the right to get the camera. I wish I could just swipe that way and get camera, but whatever. Um, the lock screen itself is just a lock, right? It doesn't it locks no matter how you get to the ring. Um, your lock screen widget is only one per page. So if I want more, I have to hit the plus button. And let's say I just want a clock. The only problem is that I only get the clock on that one page. I think another page if I want a weather widget. Another page if I wanted something else. And what I have, there's very few that are actual widgets per se. So um, I'm sure that's coming down the road to newer newer features. So other than that, standard device. Let's see what else, what else did I have to say about this here. Um, let's just go. So software, we talked about that. Standard NFC, which we know was, was really cool. Uh, a great feature I really like. We heard it uh, sharing with the S3, and because they're both 4.1 and this is 4.2 Jelly Bean, they actually can do proper Android Beam and actually Beam files, which is really great. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of uh, the features you're going to see out of this guy. It does handle quite well. It does take pictures quite well. It's not top of the line. It's not the, the bleeding edge. I mean, even to take a look at uh, picture quality on the screen, they have both have the same sort of um, brightness setting, and you can see the quality difference on on the S3. The, the HD AMOLED is just really bright. Uh, on here, it's not bad, but again, it's not part, not the best out there, but it's not the no, not terrible. It's not, not. It's definitely an improvement over the Galaxy Nexus, which had that really crappy pentile display. Um, but yeah, you're gonna buy this thing because not only it's in high demand and everybody wants one, but because it's a Nexus device. You you know that as soon as Google comes out with the updates, it's gonna get it. You don't have to worry about, you know, is Samsung gonna, you know, tweak it a little bit and take three months and then send it over to Rogers, who's gonna take another four months to before it gets to my phone. So now it's almost a year before I get this update. You know, as soon as it's out, it's gonna get it. Uh, pretty much similar reasons why people usually go to CyanogenMod, etc., because they wanna get those new features right away and not wait for them. And this is why we go for the Nexus devices. Okay, so this is my, my quick review. Uh, the full review will be on the blog, androidcoliseum.com. So please go there and watch and read through it and make your comments there. Um, thanks very much. Goodbye.